All right, heat number three will be coming out to the track here momentarily. We're going to have the uh, number 151 slated to go, in, go from the pole position. That's uh, Bryce Bailey and the coach's pizza car. And on the outside with the Jumpin' Jack Johnson side plates and a tribute to the legendary Jumpin' Jack. That's Loudon Reimert out of Holy, Pennsylvania. And then you've got the 438 scheduled to go inside row number two. That is going to be Nick Scavia. And on the outside will be the 19 of Jordan Banks. Third row inside, Eric Mack with that tabloid graphics 15. Outside of him should be the uh, straight number 12. And then we're going to have uh, the number uh, 71. That'll be Gerald uh, Gerard LeClaire in memory of Shorty Racing tonight. And the 11A of Ryan Pepicelli. So, again, eight laps the distance, third of five heat races. Top four will go to a redraw. So, the four qualify, everybody redraws except for the pole because the pole gets auctioned off to the highest bidder. White flag waves. We should be ready to go green next time by. Field doubled up and ready to go. So they make their way here off turn number four. And it's a good smooth start for Bailey. He'll lead the pack into turns one and two. Reimer on the outside trying to hold on to that second spot. Has the 438 and Nick Scavia right up alongside. Eric Mack up into the number four spot with that tabloid graphics 15. A throwback to the legendary Billy the Kid Pouch. Storming his way up through now. Here comes the Banks number 19. So Jordan Banks now finds himself in a transfer spot as he punts Reimer back to the number five position. And he may not be done as we've already completed lap number three, closing in on the cross flags in the halfway point here in heat race number three. Back off turn number four. It's about a two-car length advantage for Bailey with the 151. Scavia second. Matt goes out a little bit wide in turn number two. Banks trying to get underneath him. And here comes Ryan Pepicelli from the back of the field now. Ryan is going to work his way underneath Reimer. And he is one away from a transfer spot. But there's only two laps left to go as the top four skim off turn number two down the backstretch here. And come to the white flag. Bailey trying to hold on. Scavia tucked in behind. There's a move by Ryan Pepicelli on the final lap. And that move is going to put Pepicelli into the show. Pepicelli steals fourth on the last lap. Mack finishes third. Scavia takes second. And Bailey with the 151 comes away the winner.